Hello everyone, Be the Amazing Greek here. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to make one version of three, which I'll make two other videos and show you those, a version of the Caltra. This is an ancient weapon of war. It is a device that was made very popular uh, in the 80s with the release of all the ninja movies. This is the device that they would throw on the ground and no matter how it landed, Spike would face up. Your enemies are walking, running after you. You toss a handful of these behind you, release your pouch. However, they step on these, incapacitates them, slows them down. Uh, these are used, I believe, in uh, the Persian times, their empire, against camels. Uh, they use them, I believe, against elephants and, of course, against people in uh, Japan from uh, ninja lore. There's, uh, you can look at sites and see the pictures of the ancient the ancient versions they had. These are made of nails, a little bit of welding. This is the only one that will be used welding. This particular caltrip, the other two that I'll show you in uh, future videos, will not require welding. So I'll show you all the tools you need and the technique behind making this, and uh, you'll be able to make your own. So stick around. Okay, so for this first set of caltrips, we'll call type 1, uh, here's some of the things you're going to need. You will need a cutoff tool of some kind, either an angle grinder or a hacksaw to cut the heads off of the nails. You will need safety glasses. You will need some gloves. You will need some hearing protection if you are using the angle grinder. You will need your nails. Then you will need either a pair of channel locks, a pair of pliers, or a pair of vice grips of some type. And if you have it, a vice. That would help versus putting the nails between a pair of pliers, a pair of channel locks, and then trying to bend those by hand. So let's get to the first step. Also, this is the only set of caltrips uh, of the three I'm going to show you, two in other videos, where you will need a welder to complete this project. First step, secure your nail in the vise. I've got it at an angle so that as I come in, I make one cut and create a sharp angle on the end, like on the other end of the nail. Maybe should have went a little lower. There we go. Step one. Now for each cow trip you make, you're going to need to do two nails like this. You also need some type of measuring device. This quick, quick square uh, is super great for this. I'm using three and a quarter inch nails. So after I cut the head off, they're about three inches. I'm going to mark the halfway point which is an inch and a half they sit good on the bottom there I just hold them make me a quick mark that's the midpoint that's where I'm gonna bend them okay I've got them in the vise again I'm gonna use the channel lock so I can grab a good amount of this I give myself about an eighth of an inch below the line clearance because when the metal bends it's not going to be boom right on the line it's going to be you know uh, there's going to be a little bit of a well I hate to say bend but some curvature so we'll take one yeah of course there's going to be bend I mean, good gracious Might give myself a little bit more space next time. And almost 90 degrees. We're just a hair short, which is what I want. Now, to get ready for the welding, holding them like this, 
put the one facing downward in the vise and I press I try to press so that it's gonna hold this one up see like this see how that is I've got it like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with the welder and I'm gonna tack weld it right there and tack weld it right there No matter how you throw it, you just toss it down. There you go. Now, of course, you can paint them up so they can hide better, you know pretty cool little thing real simple <laughs>